Every one of us has the occasional sweet tooth. But imagine reaching for a piece of candy just to find out it was chock full of lead, or had small pieces of plastic inside. How about a candy depicting dead animals? Hold on tight, subscribe to the channel, and let's take a closer look at the 10 banned candies that can kill. Number 10, Hippy Sippy. If there is one thing we're going to see on today's list, it is that illicit drugs and candy somehow share an inedible connection. The first and potentially most deliberate of these was an ill-fated product named Hippy Sippy. With the experimental vibe of the 1960s came a general recognition of drug use. After this, it would become the norm to make movies like Scarface, Blow, and even The Godfather. But before this, drugs were more of a mystery to those who didn't personally use them. It was this flurry of sudden recognition that inspired one candy company to release Hippy Sippy. The product consisted of a plastic syringe filled with brightly colored chocolate balls, colored similarly to many drugs available in pill form at the time. Overall, the Hippy Sippy was a knee-jerk ploy to cash in on the hottest new trend. It just doesn't work so well when that trend is narcotics abuse. While this candy isn't poisonous in itself, it did make children more curious to pick up things like syringes and pills that were found discarded, and alleviated any fears they might have about sticking either in their mouth. After all, that's where the candy comes from, right? Needless to say, the candy was quickly banned as the ramifications became evident. If you thought this product was a tragic misstep, wait till you see our number one entry, a candy that lied to consumers and targeted children with deadly consequences. Number 9. Haribo Sugar-Free Gummy Bears Haribo is one of the world's best-loved candy brands, but not too long ago, they became the enemy of toilets everywhere. In 2014, their sugar-free gummy bears gained quite a reputation for causing abdominal distress and, quote, a laxative effect, with one reviewer saying it was napalm, and another calling the experience reminiscent of a trumpet calling angels back to hell. The effects were the results of an artificial sweetener called lycosin. Humans can't fully process lycosin, and if it builds up, it begins to ferment and wreak havoc in a very short time. Haribo eventually pulled the candy from production, but the reviews left by those unlucky enough to try them will stand the test of time. Before we go on, like this video, pop the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell right now, or the ghost in your closet will manifest itself tonight. Number 8. Parade Candy What's better than free candy? Why, an unruly mob of tiny, jacked-up children fighting in the streets over it, of course. There has long been a tradition of people throwing candy from floats at parades. Before the candy has even touched the ground, children spring forth from their parents to eagerly gather the sweets. But after a series of incidents, officials in Madrid, Spain have concluded that the risks outweigh the benefits and have banned the practice. A particular parade in Madrid called Calvagada de Reyes occurs every year before Christmas and was at the center of the debate. The parade has seen numerous children injured as they scrambled face first into each other before colliding with the cement. However, it wasn't a concussion that finally caused the ban. In 2013, a six-year-old boy racing to get candy fell under a flow and was run over and immediately crushed to death. After the incident officials made the ruling official, and today performers walk alongside the parade to hand individuals pieces of candy to children. Number 7. Roadkill Candy If an early sign of a serial killer is the desire to kill small animals, it doesn't bode well for the manufacturers or purchasers of this ill-thought-out treat. From gummy bears to gummy worms, the gummy candy world is a hard place to really stand out. But in 2004, Kraft managed to make waves, albeit not in a good way. Under the trolley name, they released a product simply called a Roadkill. The gummies depicted chickens, squirrels, and snakes with tire tracks on them, implying that the candy was a carcass of a flattened animal. Many people recognized the odd nature of the candy. I mean, after all, you probably wouldn't buy gummy hit-and-run victims. In particular, animal rights groups were far from amused, and the product was pulled less than a year later in response to public outcry. Number 6. Powders 
Virtually all candy that comes as a powder or an easily crushed tablet such as rockets, sometimes known as Smarties, face the same problem. As we discussed in our first entry, it isn't entirely uncommon for children to have a vague understanding of the mechanisms of drugs. Even PSAs often depict drug use in some way. Because of this powdered candy like Fun Dip and Pixie Sticks are often snorted by children, and candies like Rockets have been crushed up and then inhaled, you know, like cocaine. Apart from the more obvious issues at play here, powdered candies can get stuck in the lungs, causing respiratory problems, cause nosebleeds, and even nasal maggots. Because of the overwhelming number of children doing this, these candies have been banned from numerous high schools. Number 5. Candy Cigarettes Whether you agree with this next entry or not, there's definitely something odd about the candy industry constantly trying to make toxic adult vices more fun for children. Perhaps no example is more famous than candy cigarettes. According to numerous studies, disproportionate numbers of people who ate candy cigarettes would grow up to smoke actual cigarettes when compared to non-smokers. And admittedly, the legacy of candy cigarettes is a dark and manipulative one. First manufactured in the 1800s, candy cigarettes were soon manufactured by actual cigarette companies who would brand them with their own name and branding, literally marketing them as cigarettes for kids, with one brand being named just like dad and showed children pretending to smoke candy cigarettes as they waited to be old enough for their cigarettes their father smoked. In no uncertain terms, the marketing of this candy at one time was specifically designed to encourage a new generation of smokers. Given what we know about cigarettes, there's no telling how many lives they may have cost indirectly in the long run. Number 4. Kinder Surprise What could possibly go better beside yummy egg-shaped chocolate than a brand new toy? That's what Kinder thought when it introduced Kinder Surprise in 1973. Each toy is a chocolate egg, inside of it is a plastic pod. Inside of that are toys made of tiny pieces that need to be assembled. Because obviously, if there is one thing that children long to experience, it's assembling IKEA furniture during a sugar rush. Unfortunately, most small children assume that the entirety of most food is edible, which has led to several injuries when children were left unattended and inadvertently expected the small colorful pieces of plastic to be a piece of candy. This has caused not only choking, but internal damage from pieces lodging intestinal walls or causing blockages. After all, most candy doesn't come with a disclaimer that you have to separate certain parts or you might die. Who are these made for? Fugu chefs? Despite the potential danger, Kinder is currently only banned in the US and Chile. Number 3. Toxic Sledge Chew In recent years, toxic waste candy has become all the rage. The incredibly sour hard candies are routinely noted as some of the most sour in the world. But the company briefly manufactured another product known as Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge. It was a chew bar similar to Charleston Chew, but with a much darker secret ingredient. Astonishingly, this product was launched in 2007 and wasn't discontinued until 2011, despite literally being toxic. The company's manufacturing facility was located in Pakistan and adhered to far different safety regulations than domestic manufacturers. When the FDA got around to testing the candy, long after it was sold to the public and had certainly become someone's favorite, they discovered that it contained significant levels of lead, enough to be harmful to small children, infants, and pregnant women. In fact, it contained nearly three times the allowable lead levels for a food item. Number 2. Lucas Muecas As we discussed earlier, basically any candy available as a powder poses a problem to children familiar with the mechanisms of drug use. And sure, that was a bit of an issue for Lucas Muecas, but the problems ran a little deeper in this case. Much like toxic waste nuclear sludge, this candy was made with insane levels of lead. But what's even worse is that it didn't take as long to consume as the labor-intensive chew, meaning sugar fiends could ingest far more in a short time. And given the apparent need of children to snort literally any powdered candy, the toxic heavy metal was also finding its way closer to children's brains and other vital areas. Unlike toxic waste nuclear sludge, this candy didn't last four years on the market and was banned almost immediately. Despite this, three years after it was discontinued, a candy distributor in San Jose found to us still have a backstock of it. Number 1. Chinese Medicine Candy There has long been a push for pills to come in less enticing colors because of the fear that children may stumble upon them and mistake them for candy. But one Chinese candy manufacturer seemed to miss this memo. For some reason, 
Chinese candy manufacturers went through a period of a few years of manufacturing candy designed to look exactly like prescription drugs, complete with the pharmaceutical bottle that most adults would have to look twice at. The FCDA quickly banned the sale of these candies for two reasons. One, the obvious inevitability of children searching for more and finding real pills. And two, because even the packaging vaguely alluded to the fact that they had actual medicinal properties, and it was seen as misleading. That's all for 10 banned candies that could kill. Which story was your favorite? Have you heard of similar stories? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to TrendJoint for more incredible videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.